the name. Memphistone, whatever, mm-hmm. will remain broadly available during the legal battle. Okay. So you know what happened here, right? Mm-hmm. That um, the lower court out, out, outlawed this abortion pill. Right. And they appealed it to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. And the Supreme Court said, hold on on outlawing it. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just, you know, everybody relax and calm down for a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, let's let's shoot it back and let's see if it can go through the appeals court. Mm-hmm. And then if y'all need to come back to us later, y'all can do that. Mm-hmm. What they did is they bought time. Because this is going to be part of the election, um, the, uh, the guys, the platform, the platform of stand people on. running mm-hmm. for president of the United States. Exactly. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So just briefly, I just wanted to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, Donald Trump, I told you he weighed in on the whole mm-hmm. abortion thing. Yep. He believes what the Supreme Court says mm-hmm. is that it should be each state. Each, each state, make your own decision. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you do. Mm-hmm. That's a, a state by state thing. Mm-hmm. And the pro-lifers hated him saying that. Right. Because they feel like it should be federal. That's a federal thing, not mm-hmm. each state. If I want to go over to the next state, I can have an abortion. Yeah. But if I go to this state, I can't have that one. that state decides. They yeah. want abortion outlawed all across Mm-mm. the country. Mm-mm. And Donald Trump and the Supreme Court are saying, no, just let each state and the sad thing about it, like do. your friend, I keep saying your friend, Tim Scott, mm-hmm. they had some kind of event this past weekend. I think you guys may have known what it, wherever they were speaking at. Pence mm-hmm. spoke there, mm-hmm. Tim Scott. Um, even some of the things that he, he says is to the extreme. What did he say about the abortion pill? Well, here's the thing. You know, he's extreme. Like what Alyssa and Anna was saying on The View, there are Republicans who feel like in cases, the time frame, first of all, that DeSantis put on there. Mm-hmm. Some women don't know they're pregnant within that time frame. They may right. not ever know. Right. And then another thing, and how, where are you getting that info from, DeSantis? You're not a woman. How do you know to, to get put a law on a woman's body and what she feels and don't feel and don't right. know? And one of the things that I listen to them saying, there are a lot of Republicans that are jumping ship with the extreme mm-hmm. Republicans that are saying, I don't care about rape. I don't care about, they don't um, care about nothing. incest, anything. If she's 10 years old, I don't care. No abortion, nowhere, okay. no way. Okay. And that's and they're like, that's not right. That's not right. There's, there's incidences where the lady... May find out her baby. One lady had to carry her child and it died in her in her womb. See, that's ridiculous. So she don't she can't abort it because the baby already dead. Did Come you on, you guys. Trump, extreme is Trump too much. was on some kind of um news thing mm-hmm. and he said Democrats are trying to abort, they want to abort babies even after they're born. Now he goes too far with that. He goes too far with that. I'm like, what is he talking about? What do you mean abort babies after they're born? He said they want abort, like if once the baby is born, they still want to be able to take take the baby out. I'm like, and these people listen to him. I know. I know. He goes to he goes to the extreme with being stupid. Because he makes comments that make you go, he's not thinking about what he's saying. Well, he's the, not making sense. The Supreme Court on Friday ordered that the abortion pill remain broadly available as litigation plays out in the lower courts. Mm-hmm. The high court's decision came in response to an emergency request by the Department of Justice to block lower court rulings that would severely limit access to the medication, even in some states where abortion is legal. Mm-hmm. Now, the case will now be heard in the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The appeals court has scheduled an oral arguments on Wednesday, May 17th. Now, this drug, which I can't never pronounce the name, mm-hmm. has become the flashpoint in the legal battle over abortion since the Supreme Court last summer overturned Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 decision that guaranteed abortion nationwide as a constitutional right. Who are you looking at? I'm just saying what... President Joe Biden said the court's decision keeps this drug available for women and FDA approved to terminate early pregnancies. Biden said his administration will fight to protect access to the drug, ongoing legal battle in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. So... It's going to go back and forth. It's just going to go back and forth. Yeah, yeah. And then each person that's running for president's We'll have to speak to this for real, you know, and where their stands on it. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Um, Wendy says, some women have a period when they're pregnant. Mm-hmm. Um, Emerald says, so if you are forcing these abortion laws on women, what are they going to assist? Who, what are they going to assist financially and provide affordable child care for all these women? They not. 
Mm-mm. They don't care about when the child is born. Right. That you on your own. You on your own. Some places they they have resources to help. If here's the thing, I don't have a problem with a lot of these centers that they they want to take you in and talk to you and say, hey, don't don't abort, don't because that's their job. That's right. what they want to do. They want to let you know there are options. Don't don't abort. You can we'll find ways to resources to help you. Mm-hmm. And that's their job. I respect them. I don't step on their feet for doing right. that. Because I have been a part of these little places in the local area that does that. That's their goal. But follow the child from the womb to the tomb. That's the problem. They They don't. They have resources available for these young moms or these moms with seven kids. And this is the eighth child. These mothers who may have been abused and that's how they became pregnant. These moms whose kid is ill and they having a sick baby. They have resources for a certain length of time. You don't follow that mom when her baby is seven. Thank you. Eight years old. They don't care. Nine. They don't ten. care. And you leave them once they're little babies and then they little walk away. So my thing is resources for these moms to carry that child all the way through college. And then we've also know people that was on the other side mm-hmm. where the child was, um, the doctor said, if you have the child, mm-hmm. you're going to die. Right. And the person was a Christian and mm-hmm. they said, I don't believe in terminating the baby. Mm-hmm. Right. And the doctor said, well, I have to terminate the baby. And because of the law, mm-hmm. she has the right to decide what she wants with her body. Thank you. And, and this person told us specifically, she stood on that law and the doctor couldn't do anything about it. That's right. So, and she the had right, the baby. The right to choose. She had the I baby had- and she lived. So Mm -hmm. that's the other side of it, of Mm -hmm. no, the doctor, the government, Mm -hmm. nobody Mm -hmm. makes that decision. That's your decision. She made that decision to have her baby where the doctor said, you're going to die. And she stood on Roe versus Wade. Yes, she did. So, and she's a Christian. Yes. So So, her pastor prayed with her, had her husband, they all prayed and they just believed, you know, the power of prayer. That that baby was gonna come out okay, even though it was really a dangerous situation right. for her. He's been probably in grad school now or mat- working on his master. And my friend, one of my friends in college, mm-hmm. her mom was the R word. You can't say it. No. Okay. And my friend they is a result it, of that. They won't know what it is though. A result of what? Of being violated. Okay. By, by some uh, person, man. Yeah. And my friend is a result of that. She didn't know her dad, did she? No, she was our. She and her was, mom made the decision. Her mom made the decision the to keep her. Mm-hmm. So there's different, but that's her mother's decision. Thank you. That was between her, her doctor, and her God. Yeah. So I don't know. This is a really messy. It's situation. It's a messy situation. It's going to become a big part of um, 20. But my whole thing is, I don't care whether you fall pro-life or mm-hmm. pro-choice. Right. Follow it through. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like, I agree with Emerald. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be pro-life, mm-hmm. you need to follow it from the womb to the tomb. Thank you. And don't that, just be pro-life happen. and you don't do nothing Thank for the, the women who you are supposed to are struggling yeah. because they, had, they made the decision, like you said, to have it. So you need to make a decision. If you're pro-life, mm-hmm. then you need to be pro-life. Mm-hmm. Not just pro baby in womb the stomach the life, womb to the tomb. but pro life of human beings walking That's around on Tony, this earth. Tony Evans says, and one thing too, and we keep stressing this: they step over a person. People who are pro choice mm-hmm. are not always pro abortion. Some, everybody who's pro choice doesn't. People assume because you're pro choice, you don't believe abortion is murder, and that's not. Some true. people do are yeah. pro choice. And they still believe they, abortion is murder. They wouldn't have an abortion. They just said it's up to the woman to Each make that decision. Woman makes yeah. that decision. So whether she's me, a person of faith or not. For me, I believe that the Bible says, "I knew you before you was in your yes, mother's womb." Yes. So I believe that if for you to um, once that heartbeat is once that I believe that that be having an abortion in my opinion, mm-hmm. is between you and God. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like that's some, you're getting rid of something mm-hmm. that God allowed. Mm-hmm. But then if somebody's some 10-year-old or something, I what, Mom? Huh? Yeah, boy, that's what I said. My mother just said oh. it. But if you have a 9-year-old or 10-year-old and something happens to oh, them, Lord. they violate it. Again, that's between you and God. I'm going to be like, nah, she ain't having it. And I can, me and God can talk about it the next day. But I've had some people but in, that's, in my past where they, a situation was really scary, similar to that. 
Yeah. And the the prayers was like, Lord, if, if it happens, it has to be natural. It has yeah. to be. And the girl, she um, had it by she miscarried. Yeah, miscarried. She miscarried. That's what I would be praying for. Ooh, I Jesus. would be praying, even though I hate, I would be praying I know. for. You wouldn't pray for, but, it, but I would like, be. Lord, no, you, I would be praying for a miscarriage. You probably would. Yeah, I don't want okay. to, but I would. I know. I would, I would pray that she have whatever a your will is. Ah. But I would still. Again, it's between ah. you and and that's between you yeah, and God. Yeah. Um. Okay. Rosebud says DeSantis is a whole clown. Yeah. Emerald says we agree. Um, each pregnancy I had was completely different from each other. Mm -hmm. My first, I didn't even know until my second month. See? See? And some people don't know till even after that. According to DeSantis, though, that time frame is Oh, already, it's over. He's it, done with you after four, after four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> you better know ahead of time. Oh. Even before then, because you can't have a pill either. Okay. You can't even have a morning after pill. Okay. Um, Emerald says affordable housing alone is a massive issue. Yes. Um, some people were never meant to be parents. What about the potential child abuse yes. that would occur due to this? Due to that. And Golden Roadie said, you guys are absolutely right, 100%. Thanks, you guys. Okay. So it's up to the person. It's individual. Don't assume everybody who is pro-choice is, is pro-abortion, pro and okay. don't assume everybody who is pro-life believes in actual life after the child is born. Because some of them would step over the per the human. Oh God! To go and save someone, and also I had do have some. I hear the people that are um that have issues with like Planned Parenthood, being in black neighborhoods. And I, I do, I'm not, don't think we're totally oblivious to that. Right. right. That it's y'all real quick to push abortion mm -hmm. on young black mothers. I know. So I'm just, I'm just throwing but that the, out there. But to be honest, a lot of the, like Sarah did make a comment on the view. She said, as far as the percentages of women who are actually taking these pills yeah. and the purpose of, a lot of women are not having the abortions that people think they people are. People keep thinking people having abortions. As a really contraceptive. That's not Oops, something. I'm pregnant again. Let me go get rid of it. Because I think because they hear these stories of these women that come on the internet and go, oh, girl, I went and got one or this, that, and that. It was easy, girl. No. You paid for it. The majority of the women that go into these places aren't going in happy and smiling and going, oh, I'm getting ready to get my 15th abortion. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these are heartfelt. They got to make a decision. You got some people that's teenagers oh, or teens yes. and all kinds of stuff. Baby is ill and sick. You already know in the womb. You already happen. know and all no. that stuff. So yeah. it's a tough thing. These but situations I don't, different. I'm not on, I don't hate people who are pro-life. Right. And I don't hate people who are pro-choice. Exactly. I think you guys are too extreme with this. Yeah. People act like they can't be friends with somebody if they pro-life. My thing is I just, I just um, challenge the ones who are pro-life. Be pro-life. Feet from the womb. To, to the, the tomb. tomb. And there's some people who I know who are pro-life and they really believe that. Yeah. They really are saying, mm -hmm. yes, if I talk somebody out of getting one, mm -hmm. I'm walking her through her whole life. resources until they out of college? Girl, come on. I yeah, got you. Yeah, they got, got it. You. They got it. I don't okay. want you to get rid of that baby. I love but it. But don't be the ones out with the signs. <laughs> don't get rid of the baby. And then they go home. Then <laughs> 10 years, no, 15 years later, he robbing you. Yeah. Coming out of Walmart. <laughs> Hey, I helped save your life. Would you come back to rob me? <laughs> yes. Oh, and, man. and you still out here with that pro uh, life <laughs> sign? He's still that too. He take that and clunk you over your head with that pro life sign. But I, I was the reason why you wasn't aborted. Oh, you should have aborted me. <laughs> you shouldn't have been out there. You shouldn't have talked my mama into it. Because I'm a little oh, gangbanger and I'm Gangster. terrorizing you. Hey, Gangsta Lena. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should have got rid of him a long time ago. <laughs> No, there's a calling on his life. Nah. He, just, he just missed it. No, nope, he missed okay, it. Go ahead. Uh, Wendy says some people use abortion as birth control. That's what we talking about. The right, ones who right. do, mm -hmm. those are the ones that we don't, it's not birth control. Mm -hmm. Well, then also if you're going to get rid of the pill, the pill is the birth control. Let them take this stupid pill in. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting rid of the Viagra you don't want pill, them, then yeah. you need to leave the women alone. Yeah, get rid of Viagra then. <laughs> they don't want to do that. That that's causes the birth. Thank oh, you. Jeez. I just want people to be consistent. Yes. Nothing that if you then don't do Viagra. <laughs> if, if it's supposed to work, then pray and ask God to get it to work. If Thank it don't you. work naturally, then you don't need a pill. Yeah, because it feels side effects. <laughs> These people, they Christian oh, on some some things, and yeah. then on some things they're not Christian yeah. on. On some things God can handle, and then some things he no, can't No, no, God, I got this. The I got to take Viagra. The pill will help. Yeah, I got to take a blue pill so I, you can help me to, to get it up so I can have a baby. 
So, Whereas that could be God's way of making sure you don't have any more kids. I don't even know. But the point is, each person is different. Right. Between you and God, if you have no God, you and your doctor, it's all you and your husband, God. you and your boyfriend, whoever. It's all God. Let, it's it be, all. let it be an individual decision. When you had your cancer, there were some people, Christians, saying mm -hmm. you shouldn't get chemo. Mm -hmm. If God wanted to heal you, he would heal you. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to get chemo. Mm -hmm. We didn't listen to them. You went and got it. Well, he told me. God that. still healed you, though. But God said I was going through he the fire. He said I'm going to take you through the fire. Yeah, I couldn't understand And I got that. up. I said, well, you're going through night. the fire. I said, no, I think the fire is chemo. It's the chemo. Because it talks about how it fires throughout your body and, and it just said destroyed. nobody would ever know that you even had it. Nope. Like the three Hebrew boys. Nope. And I believe when he said, I'll take you through the fire, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. You're going to go get that the chemo. That was my confirmation. But God said, I'm going to take you through that. Because I thought that. I wanted to do what um, Nini's husband did. But then I the know. holistic way. Then I know somebody who died. Yeah. He didn't want it because he said, if God's going to heal me, he's going to heal yeah, me. He didn't do any kind of. It's personal. Yeah. It's personal. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that battle with them. Thank that's you. his battle. Yeah. Just like that's your battle. Uh -huh. So leave everybody alone. There we go. All right. Um, Wendy says, I mean, Emma says, I have women who haven't um, filled their, their birth control in months, but asking for their third or fourth plan B. Yep. Mm -hmm. In three months. Those are people, I forgot, Emerald, you are a, um, a pharmacist. Pharmacist? Yeah. They come in there and get plan B, but they don't want to get on their birth control pills. Thank you. That's the ones Wendy said are using it like a, um, using a voice or like contraceptive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're, and again, who they got to answer to? Mm -hmm. That's God. Okay. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. Um, Emerald says, we can't refuse to give it, but I always ask, do you want me to refill your birth, birth control? And they say no. Mm. And she shakes, shake my head. Well, at least you asked, though. At least you asked. You may get a yes. Yeah. Get somebody to say, yeah. Um, ex Minnesota 